Disappointment's an unavoidable fact of life. Hi, Diane. Hi. I got the tickets. What tickets? I thought you wanted to go to the concert. No, I said I'm going to the concert. I've got tickets. Oh, maybe we'll do something on Saturday. Um, I don't... Not this Saturday, of course. I mean, I'm really busy this Saturday. I was thinking about maybe next Saturday at 6.30. 7. No. How about 8? Tuesday during the day? Mm -mm. To put it another way, if you haven't been let down, frustrated, discouraged, hurt, or disappointed sometime or other, you haven't been around too long. Well, Mr. Thompson, this is a great lunch, but I've just got to start cutting back and lose a little weight. Funny you should mention that, Jack. Our organization needs to slim down a bit, too. Oh, really? Who are we going to have to let go? Uh, sir? Sometimes life's hard. So, why are you home so early? Where's Brian? Don't ask. But it can also be full and rich and wonderful if you don't let the bad times rob you of hope. There's always Howard. He's interesting. Bounce back! There are lots of ways to deal with disappointment, overcome problems, and bounce back from the hard times. And there are lots of ways to find the hope you need to carry on. This tape is a collection of ideas, thoughts, and music that can help you. Idea number one, be your own best friend. When you're feeling kind of lousy, when you greet another day, you can wish your mama tell you you're her favorite child. You can hope your boss will triple your pay. But even if the folks that love you sing your praises now and then, you need somebody who always comes through. You gotta be your very best friend, yeah. You gotta be your very best friend. If it's hard to say I love you to that person in the mirror, you should look a little closer at the person inside and you'll find he's not inferior. And if your ego's sagging, here's a message you can send. You gotta be somebody who always comes true. You gotta be your very best friend. Yeah, you gotta be your very best friend. Sing it to myself one more time. You gotta be your very best friend. It's hard to bounce back when you're always down on yourself. A low self-image and the way you act because of it sets you up for failure and disappointment. It creates a downward cycle that leads to sadness and depression and a feeling of not wanting to try again. Sometimes it's hard to feel good about life when life can be so hard. Life's never easy, but it's twice as tough when you don't like who you are. Take the time to build your self-esteem Then look at your life again And you'll see what I mean Feeling good about life Starts with feeling good about yourself Feeling good about life Starts with feeling good about yourself when you're honest with yourself and present yourself honestly to others, you start to feel good about yourself. You realize you are a good person, an important person. You've broken the downward cycle, and you've started to bounce back. Idea number two, be realistic. I'm going to have it all. Oh, yeah, I want to hear it. Come on, come on. I mean it. I'm going to have it all. All right. You know, uh, a career and a family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Me, too. I'm going to have it all. I'm planning on a big office, a penthouse <laughs> suite, well. making maybe, I don't know, 200 grand a year oh, or so. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to have one of those phones in my car. I'm going to have two of them. I <laughs> and make important that. decisions on the way to meetings in a limo. A limo. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, but that's not all. What, what, what? I want a perfect family. Oh, you got to have that. Adorable, intelligent children. Sure. What? Wonderful husband. Oh, and a home that's always clean. Spotless. You get yes, off the floor. Absolutely. I know what you mean. Sure, you can have it all. I, I can have it all. Super wife and terrific yeah. kids, a, a great job, right. everything. I guess all we need now are two things, huh? Yeah. A job and a date. date. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with making big plans for the future, even if they sometimes get into the realm of pure fantasy. What's more important is that you're able to keep your expectations realistic. For instance, a great job's not going to come looking for you. That's going to take some effort on your part. But once you make up your mind about what you want and go after it, look out, world. Idea number three, pick yourself up. 
Most of the time, you will have to take the initiative to get yourself out of the dumps. Don't wait for a friend to call to cheer you up. You make the call. Sign up for an art class, take a tour of the city, or try out for a play. Invite your friends to dinner. The important thing is not what you do, but that you do something. It's funny how when you look for the positive, you find it. Idea number four, give of yourself. Get involved with others and their problems. Suddenly, yours don't seem so overwhelming. Now that's bouncing back in the best of ways, because you're not the only one who benefits, and it can be something as simple as being the listening ear for another's frustrations. Giving of yourself is the best gift of all, because it comes back in so many ways. Idea number five: Give yourself a break. Morning, Harry. Oh, morning, Bill. <laughs> well, there he goes again, the clothes horse. I don't think I've ever seen him wear the same outfit twice. And me, <laughs> I'm still wearing my retailered neighbor jacket. There you go again, Harry. Who are you? I am the picture of perfection. You always create to compare yourself to. Oh. I'm the good-looking guy who sends you back to the mirror dejected. Oh. I'm the successful businessman who makes twice what you do and is ten years younger. Yeah. I'm I... also faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, and well, I think you get the picture. Yeah, you know you're right. I'm not much compared to you. There you go again, Harry. Huh? There's nobody exactly like you to compare with. You're a person, and that makes you incomparable. You know, I wish I'd have said that. There you go again, Harry. Oh, sorry. Uh, what did you say your name was? Figment, Harry. Figment of your imagination. Morning, Harry. Sure look nice today. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I do look nice today. More often than not, people are more concerned with what's wrong with themselves than they are about what's wrong with you. They don't spend all their time looking at you, trying to discover your self-supposed weaknesses. The only real observer of your problems is you. And you know something? You're not half bad. Idea number six: Get a move on. It isn't fair. You're ugly. You're fat. And that's what I think in bed at night, and I hate myself. 
That's what I'm always. I really want to belong to someone. Sometimes I just whisper I love you when there's no one there to say it to. <laughs> But sometimes I just pretend there's someone else saying them to me too. It just isn't fair. But being lonely doesn't make me bad. Being lonely doesn't mean I have to hate myself. I'm learning to like myself more and more all the time. And I like me. I really do. But maybe that's why I feel lonely. Because I am important. It isn't fair. It's life. And sometimes it hurts. But it's not what life does to you. It's what you do with life. Don't put your life on hold, waiting for your hopes and dreams to come true. Just because life has cheated you out of something you thought you deserved doesn't mean you have an excuse for not living up to your potential. There are so many exciting possibilities, so many wonderful things to do and learn. Each life is precious. It's far too valuable to waste just sitting around. Because the more you do nothing, the more powerless you feel. The more you feel that life is living you instead of the other way around. Idea number seven talk to your family. When I was a child, it was easier then to tell them straight out how I felt. Give me cornflakes instead, please don't send me to bed. Can't that fix it so snowman won't melt? But now that I'm older, it's harder, it seems. I think we've all changed quite a bit. Lately, I find when I speak my own mind, they get mad or get shocked or look sick. I wish I could talk to my family, but I don't know quite where to start. No, my folks aren't so bad, it's just, it's kinda sad. We don't know how to talk heart to heart. Talking about your problems is a good way to bounce back, especially when you can share them with someone in your own family. They love you. They care about what happens to you. They want to help. But sometimes it's hard to start these discussions because you're afraid they won't understand or they'll be disappointed in you. Yet, even though it might seem awkward at first, it's worth the effort. Your family can be a great source of comfort and reassurance when things get hard. Idea number eight. Accentuate the positive. Don't let the magic pass you by. You know the greatest memories are not the kind that you can buy. You gotta open up your heart and mind. The magic won't be hard to find, so don't let the magic pass you by. You know. The greatest memories are not the kind that you can buy. You gotta open up your heart and mind. And magic won't be hard to find, so don't let the magic pass you by. Don't let the magic. You the way you look at a situation has a lot to do with how you respond to it. It's the old question of is the glass half full or half empty? A little creative thinking and a conscious effort to see things in a positive way can turn things around. The ordinary becomes the extraordinary. A stumbling block becomes a stepping stone. Idea number nine. Learn from the hard times. Be glad for the challenges that come into your life. They're difficult to appreciate when you're trying to deal with them. But those are the very times when you grow. Life is a series of good things and not so good things, and you need the bad to recognize the good. Hard times build character. Negative events become positive lessons that equip you to cope with future trials. And it's during the hard times that you really get to know yourself. You're forced to look closer at yourself to find the hidden reserves of strength it takes to overcome adversity. No person or thing can make you happy. You have to find the happiness and joy within yourself. Come be the love that ends all the pain. Be the smile that 
gives new hope again. Be the joy, be the smile, be the faith, the embrace, be the trust, be the touch, be the friend, never end. Idea number ten: Realize you're not alone. Sometimes, when disappointments crowd in on you, you feel so alone and so unable to pick yourself up and make a fresh start. But when you look way down deep inside, you realize there's another source of help you can always count on. Here's a little song to help you get along. It'll see you through when you're feeling blue. And though it's not profound, when you're feeling down, so down, sing this little tune, and you'll feel better soon. The human spirit is remarkably resilient. We fall down or get knocked down, and somehow, most of the time, we manage to bounce back. But it can be hard. We hope this tape has made it a little easier. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints.